What is up, you guys? It is Parker here with Deco Exchange. Y'all, we've got another great tutorial out today, and I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel, like the video down below, and at the very least, y'all, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Hope you enjoy. Hey guys, I think we're live. This is Damon from Deco Exchange, and tonight we're gonna make a quick grapevine fall wreath. Y'all, I wanna use this cute little scarecrow pumpkin guy. So I wanna add a bow, some greenery, and build it out. Let's make our bow first. Y'all, we're gonna do about an eight inch tail at the top. About a six and a half to seven inch loop on this side. And then a longer tail over here, about 12 inches. All right, so y'all, we did one layer of our ribbons. Let's add a little bit of raffia in there. So I wanna add raffia into my bow. That way it matches the hair here. All right, we're gonna do another layer of our ribbons. Y'all, this time we're just gonna do it in the opposite direction. All right, y'all, these loops just get a little bit smaller each time. Let's get one more loop in here. All right, let's get a little bit more raffia in here. All right, that's enough raffia. Y'all, I wanna top it though with another layer of this one. So we're gonna do a center loop. Y'all, my center loop is just that. One loop, two tails, done. Let's get this bow off, tie it off. All right, y'all, the trick to a pretty bow is to make sure you pull your pipe cleaner as tight as you can. So I like to push up on my bow and then start to twist the bow, right? As you twist it, all your loops should start to fluff out by themselves. If your loops don't start to fluff out like a blooming onion, you ain't did it right. Start over, friend. Let's get our bow added on here. Y'all, once we add our bow, we'll secure our little scarecrow. Y'all, because this is a circle grapevine, it doesn't really matter where we add our bow, it's gonna be in the same spot. So now we can add our scarecrow where we want him. Let's get this little guy secured right here. Y'all, to attach him, we need to get a pipe cleaner around his feet. Okay, so his shoes are black. Where can you get that bow maker? Uh, we usually have it on decoexchange.com. All right, because his shoe is black and there's this raffia around the, the top of his boot, y'all, I'm just gonna wrap a pipe cleaner right around the top there. You can't see it from the front. Perfect on the back, and we'll just be able to attach that right into our grapevine. Now on the top part, oh, we are lucky. Look, his scarf, you can put your finger through it. So we can just put a pipe cleaner right under his scarf. Can you just hot glue him on? I would not recommend you just hot gluing anything on. I would always uh, secure it a little bit better than hot glue. Gonna get his little boot attached. Let's get his top half attached. Y'all, this little scarecrow made my life real easy. So y'all, now all we need to do is add some greenery up this way and a little bit under his, y'all, I'm gonna cut this stem down just a little bit. One here. One here. 
We'll get those added right into our grapevine. Now on this bottom piece, I want to get the leaves to kind of circle back around a little bit. You want to thank me for giving back? Listen, we could not do what we do without all of y'all. So we appreciate you guys and what you guys allow us to do. Y'all, if you haven't heard, we're at almost 1,700 um, sponsored meals from the Tree Topper workshop. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, this weekend we're doing a four-day workshop where we're going to teach people how to make Christmas tree toppers and how to decorate a Christmas tree. And we're taking the profits from that challenge to serve hot meals uh, for the victims of Hurricane Laura. You want to make sure you're building out all the way around. So there's a gap right here that needs a little bit of the color, right? Now I'm gonna start adding in some other floral pieces just to give it a little bit more color and dimension. So I chose a greenery bush with a little bit of glitter on it because he's got a little bit of glitter in his hat. I also wanted to bring the bright maroon back down to a lighter color. Now look how that changed this whole area up here. So whenever I'm looking at it, all of this blends in really well, except for this piece that needs to come back here. Right, all of this blends really well, but right here, it's very dark. Let's trim our bow tails up a little bit. What do you put in the boxes? It changes every month, but it's a resupply box. You can go to resupplybox.com. All right. Y'all, look how cute. Y'all, the little scarecrow is super cute. Look how cute he is. <laughs> 